welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick update of my pocket planner because I haven't updated you guys in a really long time and I have changed some things around. I've also been working on my 2019 setup which is partially done but I still have a lot of work to do on it so um, that's something I'm going to be working on this month once I'm finished with school but I wanted to show you guys what I have and kind of how I'm using it. It's very similar to my last setup but I have changed some things around so I wanted to update you guys. I'm still using my pocket crock. I did recently purchase a new planner. I did recently purchase this forest green Finsbury and I absolutely love the color of it. It's like this really pretty emerald green color and I was using it for a little while if you saw on my Instagram. Um, but I had to switch back to my crock just because I don't know, something about the black and just the classic look of it, I just really missed it. Um, but I am planning on keeping this. The one thing I don't care for is the color inside. It's kind of a turquoise color. I just don't really think it matches the emerald green color. This to me is like a really kind of luxurious, like high-end color. Um, that's just what I associate it with. But then when you open it, it has this like turquoise mesh and this turquoise like nylon backing. So I might try to find a way to possibly cover that, but um, we'll see. So I have switched back into my crock and I am still loving it. This is probably my favorite planner I've ever purchased from Filofax and I honestly highly recommend it. If you thought about purchasing it but you weren't so sure on the price or the quality, definitely worth it. I've been using it for over a year now and I just, I absolutely love it till this day. I did make some new dashboards which you guys will see and I'll point out um, but in this first little pocket I just have a bunch of receipts that I needed to hold on to. And then in here I keep the keys to my lockbox where I do um, my sinking funds but lately I've just been using it for storing inserts. In the back pocket I have some cash and some receipts that I needed to hold on to. I have a check stub and I have a little notepad. And then I created this dashboard on Canva just using some prints and playing with text options. I just have a little dew drop on here because finals is next week and I'm also going to be filming my planner series which I believe I mentioned in my last video. Um, it's going to be a planner series basically on my 2019 recommendations. I'll have more information on that probably on my blog within the next couple of weeks. And the first thing I have here is my contents. And I made some inserts in all of my dashboards on Canva. You can do a lot of really fun, cool creating on there. So I definitely recommend trying that out if you like to design. I found that I love designing. I could sit at my computer for hours. So this first one is my contents page, which basically just lays out what's in each section. So I have four dividers in the front and six dividers in the back. I don't use all of this stuff on a daily basis. Um, a lot of it is things that I visit maybe once a week or once a month, such as like financial stuff. I don't go in there every single day and write down everything I spend because I have, you know, online banking and it shows me everything. So I don't need to do that every day, but it is nice to have a little outline of what's actually in here. Then my first divider, again, these are from Sparkling Mint, but you can also purchase these dividers from a ton of other shops now. Um, a lot of people have these in their stores. So I have a little cover page just leading me into my inbox because I like it to be covered. I don't really want to see all the things I have to do immediately when I turn to this first divider. So I just have this cover page um, that I created again on Canva. And then I have my inbox, which is just all the things that I want to get done or ideas that pop into my head. I just kind of have a running list of things that I want to update before the new year. And then I just have a notes page from 8 Lotus because I'm going to probably switch to this notes sheet after I fill up this one for my inbox. Then I have a Peanuts Planner Co. yearly pullout, which is going to be really good for my important dates planning. I like to do all of my like yearly planning on a pullout like this. It's just easier for me to go ahead and list all the things I have going on for each month and to schedule things in advance. So any future planning is going to go on here. And then my next section is really not done at all. I just have a goals sheet and I do want to have a whole section dedicated to goals and what I want to accomplish in 2019. So I'm really excited to kind of work on that a little bit and create some more inserts for myself. So this is just basically like my outline of goals that I want to keep in mind and then from there I'm going to break them down even further and with that I made a little time management and skill set Venn diagram so I wanted to create a chart where I could kind of visually see how each different part of my life kind of works within another part of my life so I have career, personal, and school. 
So I was using this week on two page layout from Peanuts Planner Co. And then I also added um, a different layout right here. So it's a week on two pages still, but it has like a little spot to kind of plan out like a running to-do list if you have one, to schedule in any weekly habits, and then you have a week on a page right here. So I also love this one as well. I just made this cute little neon sign dashboard with my name on it. Um, I'm really into just the really clean look right now so I didn't want to add too much deco but just a little bit to kind of spice it up a little and then I usually do my task planning on the back of this dashboard in my daily section right now I'm using these daily inserts from infinite lotus and I really like them I love the layout you have um, today priorities schedule and tasks what I like about this schedule is that it's not already timed out for you you can time it yourself so sometimes what I do if I have a really long day is I'll start my day in the morning and then I'll skip a couple hours where I have off time and then I'll um, start back up maybe later in the day when I know I have other things going on so I can kind of plan it better and fit more into my schedule. And then I have another little dashboard here, and this is actually the second half of my planner. Um, so the first section I have is my health section, which I just have a little pullout of um, different things that I'm tracking health-wise. And then I have another one ready to go for 2019. These are from Peanuts Planner Co. from the yearly bundle. We have my financial section, which I'm probably just going to skip over entirely. But I have the financial routine. I have a list of pay dates and income. And then I have purchases um, for Christmas gifts. And then I have my pay dates kind of scheduled out. And then my next section is work, which I'm also going to skip over. But I do have a typed out outline of my weekly work agenda. So that's the first thing I have. I just have some deadlines I've set for myself on a calendar back here. I've also tabbed out the months up here. I'm not sure if you can really see. I just used um, label tape, printed out the month, and I folded it over just to make a tiny little tab here. So I've got September through December, and then I'll probably go ahead and add January through the next four months um, once December's over. I just have like a list of running to-dos. After that is kind of my notes section. So I just have a to-buy list. I have some ideas back here. I have a couple passwords and a ton of extra paper, like note paper. And then the very back section is my grocery section. So like I said in my previous videos, I take this with me everywhere. If it's always in my backpack or my purse. And a lot of times I go grocery shopping directly from wherever I'm coming from. I don't want to stop home first because I live in the city and it's honestly kind of stressful to like park your car and then leave again not knowing if you'll get a spot. So I like to be able to have like a grocery list on me at all times. That way when I stop out, I know exactly what I need. And I have a pretty good idea of that anyways, but if I'm making a certain dish and I forget some of the ingredients, I have them all in here. So I have all my recipes that I make frequently. And then in the back, I still have my reoccurring expenses, which I probably need to update. Um, and then just a dashboard back here. And then Right here I just have some samples of task cards that I am thinking of creating and then a business card and the pen I'm using is from the cloth and paper pen inspiration box from November. If you guys didn't see my video on the cloth and paper channel you should definitely check it out. I unboxed their stationery box and their pen box and I have to say November's boxes were just absolutely stunning so you guys should definitely check that out. Um, but I love this pen. I just love the look of it. It's so different and I like how it kind of matches my new theme. Um, with the tans and everything. But this is a very basic setup. I'm going to be changing a lot. I'm going to be taking a lot out of here, I think. So definitely stay tuned for my update video, which will probably come in January. I know that's a long ways away, but hopefully this will hold you guys over until then. If you guys have any questions at all about anything, you can leave them below and I'll get back to you. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.